Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial series. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and introduce you to objects. And um, a word of warning, do not get discouraged. I know a lot of you are beginning out in programming. Python's a great language to learn to start programming. I'm going to introduce you to objects that might make your head spin. Yeah, this is probably not the perfect tutorial that start off the tutorial series but in our previous tutorial series that we did about three years ago uh, I ref referenced objects quite often in the beginning and a lot of people are confused about what I was talking about so for example in the previous tutorial series I used object like 15 times a video all right and the reason I did that is because everything in Python is an object all right there's today's lesson Everything in Python is an object, okay? So, with that being said, what is an object? An object is an instance of a class. Sorry, my pen went flying. Um, so, everything in Python is an instance of a class. All right, so that's what we're getting at. So, what's a class? A class is a structure, all right, that we use to write code all right and basically what it does is help us organize our code all right so in python python's made up of several classes all right there for like data types and special functions and all this other stuff all right so python's made up of a lot of classes and everything that we create in python well i should say almost everything we create in python is an object or an instance of that class, all right? So you guys might be saying, I still don't get what you're saying, Tom. I have no idea what you're talking about. And that's fine, all right? That's completely fine with me because I'm introducing you to class or to objects now, and you probably won't understand it until we get to the object-oriented portion of this tutorial series where we're talking about classes and whatnot, but that's fine. As long as you just understand that everything in Python is an object, and when I reference something in the future tutorials, I say object, you guys say, hey, at least I know that that's an instance of a class. That started out from a higher hierarchy of a class and is a sub of a class, basically. It's an instance of a class, an occurrence of a class, all right? So let's just draw something here real quick. I'm going to write class, and bear with me because my handwriting is awful with a mouse. It's awful in general, but it's even worse with the mouse. So I got a class, and I'm going to have the class called doll. All right. Cool. All right. So what what's going on here? So we got we got an animal, and it's a doll. All right. So we got a class dog. All right. So this is the overall animal dog or canine or whatever you refer to it as. And below that class, we're going to have type of dog. All right. Because you got hundreds of different types of dogs. We're going to have Pug, um, we'll do uh, German Shepherd, GS for German Shepherd, uh, um, Lab. So these are different breeds of dogs, all right? We got Pug, GS for German Shepherd, and Lab, all right? So these are all instances of a um, hierarchy class, all right? So we got instances of a class here. So the objects that we have here now have something unique with them, all right? They got a special, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they have a special uh, uh, connection with class, all right? Because they're, they're an instance or occurrence of that. So what it has in here is an object has certain information. One being what kind of type is it? What type of data is it? And a class makes up that type of data, all right? So we have, well, we'll just say dog, all right? So it's a subclass of dog, all right? It also has another one in there, and that's going to be ID, all right? So it's a unique identifier in the object. Another one's going to be reference count. How many times is it referenced? We're not too concerned about that right now, but I'm just telling you what... Uh, is the basic information an object has, okay? So we got type, dog, ID, reference count, and so on, all right? Because objects can have a lot more information, but these are the basics. So what's type dog? Basically, it's saying, what is, the, what is this an instance of? 
And basically it's a class doll, all right? What's it tied to? Where's it coming from? That's what it's saying, all right? So that's information object has, all right? Another one's ID. ID is a unique identifier in the memory of the computer, all right? So that's assigned when we create the instance to this, um, say for example, pug, all right? Um, and then reference count, how many times is it referenced in memory, so on. We'll cover this more shortly when we talk about garbage collection. We'll also cover a lot more of all this when we talk about variables. All right, so let's go ahead and just clear that. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and prove this all to you now in our code uh, or in our terminal. So go ahead and fire up your terminal if you don't have it fired up. And we're just going to take a look at something. First off, I'm just going to create a variable. Uh, I got to turn off this thing. I'm going to create a variable. And don't worry about what a variable is right now because we'll talk about that in the next tutorial. But we gave a variable name a website. And I'm just going to pass master code online into this um, object here. Basically, you see the curly, or the curly brace, whoo, the parentheses around this string that we have here. All right. So these parentheses are these quotes. Holy macaroni. I can't even talk today. All right, these quotes around this URL we have is um, indicating a string. Don't worry about all that. We'll get into that. All right. So I hit return. Now we have an object. All right. Basically, this was just put into memory. All right. And how was that put into memory? Well, we got a variable here that's pointing to something. So it's like Python's like, whoa, throw that in memory right here. Throw this in memory. All right. This is our object now. Now this has a reference counter. It has a type. Um, what? type of class is it and it also has um, um, a unique identifier if I didn't say that and a reference counter all right so that's the bare minimums of what it's got all right so how can we clarify all this well, let's first off start off it has type information all right so we can just do uh, type website so this is building function type here and the parentheses and then we throw the variable in here don't worry too much about this we'll talk about all this in the future and basically I hit return and I get back class string. So basically it says, hey, this is a class string. So basically this right here is an instance of class string. All right. So we created an instance of class string or an object that is an instance of class string. All right. Cool. We could also check what class does it belong to. So we do website dot and we're going to use a special uh, attribute called class and it would give us the same exact thing type just gave us. All right. Now I told you it has a unique identifier, correct? So we can do ID, which is a built in function and we call the uh, object via the variable and we get four, three, four, five, five, two, nine, nine, five, two. And that is a unique identifier for that object. So we're identifying that object in memory with this unique number right here. All right, cool. Got all that. It's got a unique identifier. It's got type information and it's saying, hey, I'm a subclass of string and or, uh, an instance of string. I should say not a subclass. All right. So and also I mentioned I had a reference counter. So we could do something like import, uh, import like, blank system and then system dot get ref count and then we'll throw in our variable the reference our object right there and we get uh, the reference counter from the object and we get two all right so it's referenced twice in memory all right what's referencing it well I can tell you this variable is referencing it up here uh, what else is referencing I don't know right now but it something else is referencing it twice okay so <clears throat> so it has a reference counter as well all right um, so basically from today's tutorial, it's about 10 minutes long. All you need to know is anything that's put in, anything that is an instance of a class is an object and is put in memory and has type information, a unique identifier, reference counter. And we're going to cover all this in a future tutorial. But it's important for you to understand everything in Python or almost everything in Python is an object. So when we move through the tutorials, when I ref, when I say object 15 times per tutorial, you'll know 
that I'm talking about a piece of information that is an instance of a larger picture called a class okay so you guys will all start to build this this structure in your head realizing what's going on in Python I hope I didn't scare you and I hope that you guys made it through this tutorial and it's probably one of the hardest tutorials I could possibly teach because it's hard to visualize but I hope you guys got it so there you go that's an object I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about variables